My name is Mr. Kennedy and I'm the 12th grade teacher in the electrical shop here at GLTS. Truly understand the meaning of CTE, you should take some time to look at the history of CTE in the U.S. Going all the way back to 1917, we started with legislation that marked the first investment in secondary vocational education, providing funding for states for agricultural programs, homemaking, and trade and industrial education. It's a very interesting history lesson, yeah, but uh, and we've come a long way, a lot of changes since then, and, but we're still at it today. In my day, we called it trade school. Simply put, if you break down the words, career, for instance, at uh, 14 or 15 years old, you can choose a great career path for your life. Technical education, technology is changing minute by minute and we have to keep up. As an example, this was my first code book. Don't look at the date, okay? And I had to take my electrician's exam based on memorizing the information in this book, okay? And look at what's changed since then. We talked about technology and the trade change, and this is a 2020 version and the students are able to take this book in as a resource with them, along with other resources. I went in with a couple of pencils and a slide rule, dating myself. I just read an article about a company that's making robots to do construction work. I'm hoping maybe that's one of my retirement jobs because I think it'd be really cool to be controlling the robots on a construction site. I have been working in the manufacturing industry and I had several positions over 25 years. I was asked to begin teaching some electrical safety uh, courses to our in-house electricians and technicians by our training department at the plant. Uh, you ever wanna test yourself, stand in front of your peers and try to teach them something. Uh, I gained confidence teaching and realized that I had an ability to help others learn. After taking a bio when the plant faltered, and after working a short time again as an electrician, I happened to come across an ad for an electrical teacher at Pinkerton Academy. You might say I was drawn to teaching, or maybe it's just in my blood. My dad was a vocational teacher. My mom was a stay-at-home mom who raised 12 children and was my best teacher. I have five siblings who are teachers in or in educational related vocations. And I, I think I wanted to just give back. There was a model engraved above the door outside the old Havel Trade School. It said, enter to learn, depart to serve. I think that model has stayed with me. When you start thinking about retiring or leaving something you've loved doing, your head fills with reflective moments and memories of all the things that led you to where you are today. I've been fortunate, very fortunate, to work in a great trade with great people, great teachers, and in a supportive environment that has allowed me to succeed as a teacher. But the most fulfilling part, by far, my experience here has been sharing in and being part of the success of the students in our program. As a teacher, there is no greater reward than that. The one thing I want the public to know is that GLTS provides a pathway to student success. Electrical trade is a great trade with many different avenues to successful career paths. Our school has a long history of providing enduring pathway to uh, students in the electrical trade. A student entering our program has an opportunity for co-op while here at school, opportunities to work on real projects like the schoolhouse, and our co-op students working in the altering Monday to Friday weekend shop and weekend academics continues to provide a pathway for successful entry-level job positions. Our trade requires continuous education, 
And our graduating students can also come back to GLTS for their continuing education as part of our nighttime apprentice program.